Welcome back to my channel where I let you watch my autistic brain at work. And welcome back to my first ever Inktober where I'm doing Zentangles. And this is day three. Yesterday I did Spade from a deck of cards. So today I'm going to do the diamond. As you can see, I put my drafting skills to work to lay out the initial diamond. But hereafter, it's going to be all pin. My trusty 0.45 millimeter. And here we go. At this point, I've made less than a dozen Zentangles and mostly done digital art or drafting using a full set of tools, including triangles, to keep everything nice and straight. But I do need a pencil one more time. This is the, when I was trying to come up with this design, this is the part where I messed up because I could not get the corners consistent. So, I'm going to do what I would do if I was drawing this in LibraCAD, and I'm going to draw them too long, and then go back over them. This is also a useful technique for Inkscape. You know, in LibraCAD, I can just use the trim command to get rid of the extra little bits, but here I'll just erase the whole pencil line later. So, now we will do... And that one went a little bit too far, but that's okay. Because, as I hope you remember, tangling is not about making nice art. It's about relaxing. Okay, that is exactly what I'm going for, but I want to continue to nest it. tricky part though is now I have to start eyeballing mm. this is actually turning out better than I expected cool I'm not as bad as eyeballing as I thought. I'm generally bad at judging sizes and distances of things. I have uh, learned now that that's a common with autism. Thankfully, my wife is exceptional at that particular skill and is able to pick up my slack. Well, not slack, I can't help it, but it feels like it sometimes. Okay, this is actually coming out along nicely. When I tried to do this sans ruler, I just made a mess. But simply adding the ruler into the mix, even trying to eyeball distances, is working out great. Except that I keep forgetting to extend that last line. All the way. I think I'm going to be able to get two, possibly three more passes, and then this thing is going to be full. And so again, uh, drop me a note down below. Let me know if I actually made this deck of cards. Would you buy it? It's just going to be a standard 54 card deck. I haven't given any thought to the Jokers yet, so it may end up being a 52 card deck, but assuming I think of something, it'll be 54. Yeah, 
try one more. And there we go. Now, I would be inclined to get out, I don't have any red pins. So if I wanted to uh, actually make this the appropriate color for a deck of cards, it would have to uh, not be technically inktober. Please pardon the noise of my table <laughs> hitting the floor. Okay. And there we go. So that's now day three of my Centangle Ink Tour. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed it, click that like and subscribe down below. And I will see you next time.